Love Island star Megan Barton Hansen has been in hell as she asked her fans for help following a painful health diagnosis. The reality star, who rose to fame on the ITV2 program when she came in fourth with Wes Nelson, took to her Instagram stories to ask for tips and remedies for the pain she has been dealing with. She also added a comment box for followers to provide helpful answers. Which of my queens have ever suffered from pelvic inflammatory disease? It never heard of it but think I may have had my first experience. I've not had pain slash fever quite like it the last five days have been hell. If you have good Essex slash London based gynecologist recommendations please let me know or any tips or remedies for the pain and to stop it from reoccurring, she wrote. As written on the NHS website, pelvic inflammatory disease is an infection of the female reproductive system. Mild symptoms include pain around the pelvis slash lower tummy, discomfort or pain during sex pain when peeing, bleeding between periods and a lot more. Earlier this year, Megan opened up about undergoing a facial slimming procedure as she got injected with needles on her cheeks, which aims to create a slimmer face. The procedure is known as a mass eater Betox which helps to slim down the face and create a more defined V-shaped profile. It can also be helped to ease pain related to a clenched jaw and to prevent teeth from grinding. Megan's small treatment comes after she revealed she was quitting cosmetic surgery last year after having therapy to be happy with her body. The TV personality said she had savage things written about her appearance. She has also been criticized for her looks. Writing in Grazia last year, she explained, While I was in the Love Island villa in 2018, an image of me aged 15 circulated, and the media started picking out what they deemed flaws in my appearance. It was undeniably cruel and unnecessary to compare images of me during my teen years to myself almost 10 years later. She admitted that she found the criticism hard to deal with but she soon became happy and confident with who she is. One of Megan's previous surgeries included a breast implant reduction as she felt out of proportion after losing weight. I first went under the knife at the age of 17, when I had surgery to get my ears pinned back, she once revealed. My insecurities led to me having even more work done. Two years after the ear up I started having filler in my lips, and I went on to have rhinoplasty and a boob job, as well as many other procedures. I don't know how much I've spent over the years, but it's a lot. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.